Hey everybody, it's Chris with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Uh, it's a warm afternoon here in the uh, Neon Valley. For those of you who don't know, summer ends sometime around mid-December in uh, Las Vegas. So uh, I'm just going to take advantage of this warm summer afternoon. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm going to check out this Sea Dog uh, Sunfish Ale. Looked it up uh, at their website. And Sunfish is a wheat ale with hints of peach and grapefruit, is how they describe it. Uh, this is a Maine producer. I'm saying ah a lot. Uh, this is a, a Maine brewer. And I, uh, so this, this, this particular review I dedicate to my cousin-in-law, uh, David McAvoy. This is for you, my man. Um, the only uh, native Mainer I know. So, uh. Anyway, going to pop the top on this one. Decided to use my Sam Adams uh, special. Check out the smell of hops glass. So that's what I'll be using tonight. As always, going to be using the pop the top opener from Taza Designs. It really is difficult to try and find an exact hour when you have sunlight but not a influx of it. Okay, as always, going to show you the cap is in good condition. The seal around it is in good condition. You can reseal this onto a bottle, no problem. Um, paw print is what uh, Sea Dog has for their uh, bottle cap design. So let's pour this. Getting both of, both smells, um, the apric the uh, peach and the grapefruit. And this has a exceptionally low ABV, so it's perfect for a summer afternoon if this turns out to be a good beer. 4.6. 4.6 ABV. Looks like our bottling date was 12, 2 of 15. So, let's give this a shot. Also, I paid 99 cents for this at uh, total wine. 99 cents of total wine, 4.6 ABV. And that is pouring like a nice, sudsy wheat ale. I'm going to turn it directly to the the hot bouquet uh, opener and I am definitely smelling peach and I am definitely smelling grapefruit so as you can see the head dissipates kind of quickly let's give this a shot This is this is pretty good. Um, this is uh, reminiscent of almost a, a shandy. Uh, I don't know that I drink a six pack of these, but still, this is a good beer. And uh, you know, half, wheat beers end up being a lot of times hefeweizens, and hefeweizens have that weird banana, clove, rubber band smell, and flavor, and Although uh, the unfiltered wheat from uh, my hometown brewery of um, uh, Boulevard Beer is a ha is a half of Eisen, and it's one of the ones that I like. But let's get back to this beer. We're talking about this beer. We're reviewing this beer and um, this Sea Dog. Wow, it is really difficult to try and ascertain what what hour of the day to finally do these reviews in order to not get glare. Um, Very low ABV, as I said, 4.6, so um, not, I would call, a, su a substantial beer. I'd say this would be a good beer to either start the evening or to end the evening. Um, if you just finished mowing the lawn, say, or uh, doing something outdoors, and you just want uh, something to, uh, a social lubricant that isn't going to get you overly intoxicated and fill you up with a bunch of calories, then this is exactly the beer you want. Gee whiz, cannot seem to get that glare off of it. But this is sea, this is Sunfish beer from Sea Dog. And they are out of Maine, and there are a lot of great beers. Well, would you look at that? We've actually got an unmarked black helicopter flying over. Conspiracy theorists, take your time. It's actually flying away from Area 51, though, in case you were wondering. Um, but uh, this is... This is a good beer. I like this beer, actually. Um, as I said, I probably wouldn't drink a six-pack of these, but 
I could see having a few of these in the back of the fridge just for, uh, you know, friends come over and you, uh, you're not looking to get, you know, say, inebriated, but you just want to share some beers with friends. This would be a good one to do it. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to bring it in close. Hopefully that will get rid of the glare. There we go. Sunfish beer from Sea Dog. Described as beer with natural flavors added. And uh, probably going to be given this actually a 4.25 because uh, this is a wheat beer. It's not a shandy. And it, uh, it comes through as a beer instead of being a shandy. And I, I should, uh, the more I taste it, the more I think, no, nah, it really isn't a shandy. I was wrong to call it that in the first place. So um, anyway, yeah, probably going to give this a 4.25. This is a good beer. So glad to have a good beer after all those disappointing clearance beers from Lee's, but those are finished. We're past those. We're not going to talk about them anymore, and we're going to move on to bigger and better stuff. Um, I think pretty much everything you're going to be seeing lately came from uh, Total Wine, but uh, I am going to be trying to get over to um, Top Shelf, and I'm going to be going to my Eastern European Mediterranean market and checking out some more of the um, foreign beers over there. So look for some of those, and... I'm going to be trying to get back on the blog. Uh, had a lot of things going on in my life right now, but uh, going to be trying to get back on the blog, put up more blog posts, and do a better job for uh, those of you who who uh, comment and and, uh, and subscribe. And I just want to thank you guys once again. Honestly, uh, there's there's really no point in me coming out and doing this if it wasn't for you. So I appreciate that immensely and. Going to once again recommend the sea Do Sun Sunfish Beer from Sea Dog Brewery out of Portland, Maine. Until then, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.